Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and here we are with only two places, well, I guess technically three, um, but uh, we're just about to end up with this LP being right at its conclusion. I'm expecting, oops, where am I going? I'm expecting 40 episodes, so that's what we're going to do. And first, we are going to spend our episode coming here. And I would like to point out that I have equipped a Moogle Charm, so that I'm not going to get into any random battles this episode. Now here, you have to come with Strago and Realm, I believe. And I just don't want to deal with this place, so... It's a talking treasure chest! I'm hungry! Hungry, 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 Feed me! Otherwise I won't let you buy. I'd like to eat coral. Do you have any? You must have more than one of those! Alright, so you have to go find some coral, which is really dumb. Now that we're stuck in here. So we just kind of wander around. Five pieces of coral. Oops, I didn't mean to step on the switch. Whatever. Two pieces of coral. I guess that's all I'm gonna get. In this place. Oh! Three pieces of coral. Sweet, so I got ten pieces of coral. The safe point, that's awkward. I've never found that in here before. <laughs> oh, I found it again. Man, I'm good. I guess I have... what? Fine, I'll save it. Is that what you want? How do you like them apples? I'm saving my game in your dungeon. Let me out, thank you. Coral over here. A piece. Well, whatever. That gives me 11. Doing okay. But, uh, yeah. I'm glad there's no random battles here. Just because it makes this place less sucky. <laughs> More coral. Okay, I have so much coral now. Please, where's the treasure chest? Not the save point. Not the save point. Do, do I have to save in order to pass this thing? Thank you. A piece of coral. Okay, I have so much coral. I don't even know what to do with all of this. Where is my treasure chest friend? Thank you. I have so much coral, dude, you're gonna die. Munch, munch, munch. Munch, munch, munch. Snarf, snarf, snarf. That was great! Bring me some more! Alright, well, obviously I got too much in one sitting, so I have to go again. I'm, I don't know how many, either if it takes a certain number, or if it takes a certain number of times going back. I honestly do not know because I hate this place and I've never cared to find out exactly. I've just done what he wanted and moved on. So, I have no idea if it was just too much all at once or if I have to go back multiple times. But I would just like to, ooh, the exit, that's rare. Would they give you the exit. That would suck, walking out. Three pieces of coral, thank you. Five pieces of coral. I'm just gonna go grab a quick treasure chest and then step on the one I was just. Oh, so much for that theory. Thanks, game. Jeez, help a buddy out. Sure, have this coral. Munch, snarf, snap. Ah, oh, what a feast! I'm stuffed, completely full. Good. Can you move now? Blah. He's <laughs> like, get out of the way, dude. Oh yeah, so you want to pass? Alright. Hey? Alright, so now he's gone. And let's see here, I'm actually going to... Save state just in case. Cause whoa, That's Hayden! on. Whatever. That guy from Strago's Town who fought this dude, and whatever, if you missed those previous episodes, is supposed to be some deadly monster that Strago has been hunting his entire life. He teaches Strago Strago's best attack, his best lore attack. So I am here to try and put a stop to it. What do you know for this? Sure, just cast Fenrir for no freaking reason, I don't care. Um, I don't know what you want to do. Cast Scan, let's scan Hyda. And wait to see what comes up for before Strago does anything. Well, you know what? No, you're just gonna freaking antidote that crap. Yeah! She's just gonna fight again. Oh yeah, I got my mirror images. Is making you miss. 
making you miss. Can't touch this! Woo! <laughs> Alright, let's go with uh, some cure... Just cast cure 3, because this is the only fight in this place. 24,000 hit points, weak to fire, weak to pearl, weak to earth. Alright then, I have an idea. I am going to cast float on everybody. I hope somebody knows Quake besides Terra, because Terra doesn't want to cast magic. Might be the last time Terra attacks. Oh no! Whatever. Slice! 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 Do you know Quake? You know Quake! Make it happen! Boom! Boom! Cure 3! I'm afraid of Terra actually killing everybody now. So I'm just gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really don't. Here, you can just... You can cast Antidote on people. <laughs> as terrible as that is. I do not know what to do. Alright, those guys are dead. Alright, you're just gonna fight. How about that? And you're gonna fight. And you're gonna fight. Oh, what's he doing? There you go, that's what I needed. Grand Train. It's like a negative Triforce attack. But now I can just kill you. So where's Fire 3? Fire 3! And some more Fire 3. And some more Fire 3. And you know what? He's gonna be dead. But more Fire 3! Alright, so he's a piece of cake at this point, but that's fine. I got some Grand Train! Oh yeah, it only took seven minutes! Oh yeah! Lived Grand Train, got a Warp Stone. I did it! I did it! I, I actually beat Hayden! I have to tell Gungo he is avenged! You're welcome, buddy. Gungo! <laughs> Wake up, you old fart! I did it, I did it, I did it! What's all the hullabaloo? Listen to me, I did it! What? You're lying, lying! He really did. Ho ho ho! If I didn't know better, I'd say Hayden wasn't my only enemy! Ha ha ha! This has to be a joke! Ho ho ho! How are your wounds healing? He has no wounds. <gasps> it was all a trick. It was a trick. He knew Strago would do it. Well, maybe it wasn't. Maybe I'm just wrong. Oh, no. This is Strago telling him the story. In the cave that seemed endless, and before I knew it, he appeared. I stared him right in the eye. I lifted my staff, and I let him have... I guess you did smack him once, but you don't have a staff. You were equipped with Gradius Dagger. Kapow! Thwack! Crash! I wanted to show my enemy the true meaning of the word hero! And then... But if the guy didn't have any wounds, then he must have wanted Strago to fight him. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Finally, he nodded off. However, let's let him be nice and quiet. Now, about my wounds... Oh, there you go. So it was... It was true! He faked it all along! A reason to defeat something that had him tormented him for decades. That creature meant business! Yeah, trapped in that cave by a treasure chest that wouldn't let it pass. What a granddaughter he's raised. Amazing! What a terrible actor you are! Only Strago could have been taken in by that performance. <laughs> Zing! Whatever. That kid, man, she's sharp. I was fooled. What's this guy say? Oh, never mind. Yes, I do. Oh, we don't care about that. No, 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 no. I don't care about this. I've already found Gogo. I was hoping you would repeat a very certain piece of information that I'm going to use in the rest of this episode in our last area before Kefka's Tower. Oh, see there you- well he tells you- there you go. He tells you to get eaten up and you can-
can find Gogo. -Go. Wait, I just rested at the end, right? It gave me a free sleep? No, it did not. It did not give me a free sleep, so I'm going to sleep right now. And then I'm going to change some of my party. And then I'm going to go to a very, very fun, very, very ridiculous, annoying, endless, difficult place. You know, I wonder if I should just get some extra items. What do I have? Or what do I... What do you sell? Circlet? Yeah, just grab more circlets. I don't care. Just grab five. Grab two more dark hoods. I don't care. Grab a few extra diamond vests, just in case. I actually didn't need another one of those. Or another one of those, but I bought them anyway. I don't care. Because eventually... I'm going to need everybody. Gravity rod, huh? Must be not very good. Ninja star! Ninja star! Alrighty. I'm gonna change my party, and I should have already done it, but I didn't. Because now I'm gonna go. I guess it's not quite the last place. Because there's still, I want to, well, never mind. I'm going to go to the Colosseum, probably. How am I going to do this here? Because this is episode 37, I believe. Actually, I'm going to not do a thing. I'm just going to switch my party. Yes. I'm going to bring Terra. I'm going to bring Seven. I'm going to bring Seven. Bring. Who the hell am I going to bring? I have to bring Maw, that's what I have to bring. Duh. Herp derp. Dibbity derp. And I'm going to unequip the other people. Those not now in my party. Although I guess I don't really want Terra to have the equipment she has anyway. Anyway. Um, Alright, so yeah, so Relic, just remove, remove. Automatically removes her stuff because that's how I have my settings. Sprint shoes, Moogle charm. You're not changing, but your gear might. Just get rid of it. Um, you're still learning Alexander, and you're still learning. That's fine. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? I don't think I have enough wall rings. I, I want four. I don't think I have four. I don't know where I buy them either. I guess you're fine without it. Do you have three? And Mog will just go without? Nope, I only have two. That only has two. Well, maybe I can find one on the way. I think I do. I think I find one on the way. So, I will give you... I don't know what the hell I'm going to give you. <laughs> what do I want to give you? I'll give you Pod Bracelet if you're not going to have Reflect. How about that? That makes sense. I guess I can give you Earrings or something silly like that. Maybe a Cure Ring? <laughs> there. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, so Terra's going to have Gold Hairpin. Cells is going to have Earrings. Okay, so we have that settled. You're learning Alexander because you need to learn it. What else do you need? Oh, you're learning quick. Aha! And what do you need? I think you've mastered everything, too. Oh, oh, what was this? Dispel. But that can be... Oh, and Drain. I'm going to ignore Drain, though. But Dispel is taught faster by... You, which Terra has, and it's slower than Pearl. So I'll just give you. Let's see, try to have Zone Seek? Zone Seek. You are gonna have Zone Seek for the rest of the game. Alrighty, equipment. Sorry about this. Taking forever. Taking all day. Alright, give you guys enhancers. Enhancer. Tiger Claw. The Paladin Shield. You shall take Nerva. 
Genji. And I guess I'll give you four shield. So then you can have... I'll give you red cap. And you can have Genji armor. Give you Gradius, not like it matters. Aegeus. Circlet. Diamond Vest. What bad gear? Ew! Who am I? I'm fighting the... I don't know who that's gonna be. Regal Crown and Red Jet. That's fine. Now we're good to go. Well, that took me seven minutes to accomplish something, and now we're on minute 16, and I'm in the same spot almost. <laughs> and I keep getting distracted. So, here we are. This place is awesome and yet extremely difficult, which is why I'm going to skip it all with Moogle Charm. Um, everything in this tower must be hit by magic. You can only use magic in here. You cannot attack. And, oops. Right, I'm just going to switch to my analog stick instead of the directional buttons. Um, so you can only attack in this place, and the enemies only use magic, which is crazy tough. Safety bit. Remember there was one thief who said to the right of the treasure chest? Boom, there's a little switch. That's the treasure chest he was talking about, and it opens up this door down here, which contains an air anchor, which is our last tool in the game. No big deal, but it's the only way to get it, I think. I don't think you can buy it, which I've tried to buy numerous times. Anyway, so you can only use magic here, and all the enemies can only use magic as well. Some of them have reflect on, some of them don't have reflect on, but you're best off putting reflect on all of your party members, and then just targeting all of your party with a spell each time so that you reflect four different casts of the same spell and that way it'll bounce off and hit their guys and you hope that they're not absorbing it and crap like that. Um, that's pretty much just how you gotta go through here. But it's definitely- oh there's a dragon! Let's grab this treasure chest first. A stunner. And I just got a Genji shield but I don't remember anything about it. Um, I forget what element this guy is as well. For some, He's red, so I'm thinking some sort of fire. But whatever, I'm gonna crush him anyway. Let's go, dragon. I'll get back to talking about this tower later. Oh, he's a pearl dragon, that's right. Magic! Fire 3! Magic! Scan, we're scan. Magic! Well, I guess actually I'll just wait. What's your Esper? Alexander? No, you're probably gonna absorb that. He's dispelling all my reflex. You know what, I'll just charge something while I'm waiting. Charge a flare. Charge two flares. Level 71. <coughs> Not weak to anything. Great, thanks. I guess I'll just charge three flares on you then. And we'll make that four. Flare, 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 flare. Man. After I sneeze, I always... My sinuses are always going. Smack him with an Ultima there, Terra. Sorry, I can't focus with all that crap going on. Anyway, now that he's just about almost dead... Oh, Reflected Pearl, back at you, bro! In your face! Sorry. Um, what are you doing? I don't know what I want you to do. I just cast Bolt Free because I like the way it sounds. It's a lot quicker than Flare. <laughs> That's okay, this will probably kill him. Oh, uh, You know, I just gave... Cells the Paladin Shield, right? But she's gonna have Genji Glove. So she's never going to learn Ultima from Paladin Shield. Unless I, like, grind for it. But she's never gonna cast it anyway. I should give Paladin Shield to somebody else. Whatever, we got a Pearl Lance, and there's two dragons left, which is perfect. Our Pearl Lance is crap for you. Skills. Are you learning Ultima somewhere? Yeah, you were at 32%. So you're. Oops. 
So you're actually gonna... Oh, you don't have... Who's got Paladin Shield? Oh no, you already know it! What a waste of magic points! There, take Genji Shield then. And give you Paladin Shield. Which means then I want to give you Force Armor, and you can take Minerva then. Anyway, sorry about that. Media curing, so that's totally fine. Anyway, as I was saying about this place, um, you want to equip everybody with wall rings that you can, um, and just kind of gotta go through here. And it's it's definitely a marathon fight through this place of magic, and hope that you don't wear out. So bring lots of ethers, spend the loot on them, or you can use a moogle charm to go through. There's a force armor, awesome. So you've got Red Jacket, Force Armor, Minerva, and Diamond Fest. You can't wear Force Armor though because you suck. No big deal. But yeah, just spend the loot on the ethers. I don't think you can buy ethers in this game. I think you can only buy tinctures. But whatever. So here we are. We've made it to the top. We made it to the top! And we get a gem box. So this is the treasure that lies atop the tower. Let's take a look at this thing because it is hard earned, to say the least. Safety bit. Oh, protects from death attacks. That's awesome. Um, I haven't even looked at the treasure I've been unlocking. I guess I just looked that I got a Genji thing. You know what? It's just a range. Find gem box that way. Um, Blizzard Orb. I got that last time. Where's my gem box? Gem box. Gem box. Gem box. There we go. Changes magic into X magic. What does that mean? It means goodbye gold hairpin for now. Uh, actually, it's I want them I want them looking nice. Gem box first, wall ring second. <laughs> All right, so this upcoming fight is a fight to behold. After you get to the very very top, just when you think you're safe to cast warp and get out of here. I don't know if you can warp out of here actually. I don't think you can. I think you have to walk down purpose. Master Kefka's treasure, return it now! Do it! Do it now! Return the treasure! Put that cookie down! You fight a ghost! There's no escape. No escape. No escape! Ah! So this guy's awesome. He's really tough and he's awesome. He's also really easy depending on how you want to do it. There's so many different strategies for this guy, it's ridiculous. Um... I'm just gonna skip your turn first. Skip your turn, skip your turn. Oops. You're gonna cast Zone Seek right off the bat. You... You're gonna skip your turn. Actually, I, I know what I wanted to do. Anyway, so there's a lot of different things you can do. I'm gonna try and have some fun. I'm gonna cast Muddle on him. And then I'm going to cast... I don't know what the hell I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna cast Haste 2. Because I feel like it. See, now I'm like reflecting crap at him, which is awesome. Um, you're gonna cast Slow 2, because it's fun. You're gonna cast... You're gonna start charging life threes on everybody, because that is of critical importance. You're gonna charge a life three on yourself as well. And Mog's probably dead. That's okay. Whatever, we don't care about Mog. Alright, so now I want to give Reflect to him. Where's Reflect? Where's Reflect? Give Reflect to you. give Berserk to you, why not? <laughs> There's so many different things you can do, like once you muddle him and Berserk him, he'll stop casting magic and crap like that. Um, life 2, supposedly. He starts zapping himself. He changes all of his elements. I need some life 3. I don't know if Reflect blocks life 3 or not, so I'm not casting it on my reflected people. Though I can't imagine it does, because then I would give him life 3 and that would be awkward. But just in case it does, I'll cast Reflect on him. Don't! No! No, I did that in the wrong order! Oh, no. Whatever. That is an alternative way to go through this tower, is either bring Umaro or cast Berserk on people, and then you can physically attack and destroy these fools with physical attacks. So it is an alternative. Um, 
There, I'll try and life through the Terra. Wall change. He's always changing his elements, which makes it annoying. Um, so that's why there's all sorts of different things you can do about it. I don't think Flare can be reflected. Um, whatever, I'll just cast Fire 3 on himself, I guess. <laughs> 35 points. It doesn't work quite on him, but whatever. Um, let's go with a Life 3 on Cells. And now I just need to start killing this fool with something. I don't know what, though. I'll just cast a Bolt 3 now. Oh, I need you to not die. That's what I need. Not dying on Mog would be preferred. Until I can hopefully take this guy out. I need to unberserk Terra. That's what I absolutely need to do. Because she knows Ultima. And Ultima will make this much, 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 much quicker. Okay, cool. Life 3 is not reflected by Reflect. So now everybody should have Life 3 on. You need to use... What is it? I think it's Echo Screen? Echo screen. I only have four of them, for God's sakes. Just cast Cure 2 on yourself. Ah, so now he's immune to ice. Yeah, he's always changing what he's weak to, so that's what makes it difficult. And that's why you need to use things like Float and Quake, or Flare, or if you still have, um... If you still have Meteor from Odin... Oh, no, that didn't do... Alright, just use a Remedy. Because apparently Echo Screen was not it. Where's Remedy? There, use a Remedy. Wow! And then, Cure 3 on Mog, bring him back. And then once he dies, as we will see... Ah, oh, Mog's dead. Oh! Check that out! That's Life 3 for you. Once you die, you come back to life. So good. God, he's just changing forms all the time now. Mog will recast Life 3 on yourself. Why is that not getting rid of Berserk? What am I doing wrong? How the hell do I get rid of Berserk? How about I recast Berserk? I can't recast Berserk, it'll get reflected. Ugh, how frustrating. Alright, I'm just gonna hope that Flare does not get reflected. I don't... For some reason I feel like Flare doesn't, but I honestly don't know. Oh, you're dead again. I'm getting low on magic points, this is dumb. I thought I put Berserk on him. I guess I didn't. Do you know Berserk? You don't know Berserk. Somebody needs... Oh, you do know Berserk. Try casting it on Terra. Okay, well, Flare goes through Reflect anyway, so I'm just gonna have to kill him with Flares. Because it's non-elemental, and so you want to use things like Flare and Meteor that can't be reflected and they're not elemental and things like that, but whatever. We're just gonna have to go with it. Ugh, Terra was supposed to be the one to make this battle go easy. By casting Ultima and make things a snap. Instead, she's a complete waste. How the hell do you get rid of... Remedy didn't work. Green Cherry gets rid of Imp. I do not know. Where's Tinctures? There's Tincture. Give yourself a Tincture. Anyway, I guess I'll just have to flare this guy to death. Whatever. Stupid Terra. It's all your fault. Flare. What a drag. <laughs> Hurry up and die. Stupid Terra. I should just kill Terra, that's what I should do. But I'm not gonna waste my... Is it really a waste of time at that point? Um, great, you don't have enough to cast Flare now. I need something else non-elemental and you don't have it. I'll just have to use Ethers, or maybe Elixirs. I have so many Elixirs. Let's just use Elixirs. You suck. Alright, magic. And see, now that he's berserked, he's just gonna fight and do nothing, and he's not threatening anymore. So now it's just a matter of flares needing to kill him. Oh well. Yeah, the 
this fight is normally very difficult. It's already been difficult, as you can see, and my guys are just about as OP as you can get at this point with equipment. And I have all of it. This is the last place before Kefka's Tower. Outside of the Coliseum. There you go. Once you finally kill him, he counterattacks with Ultima, which kills everybody. So if you don't have Life 3, you have to do that entire tower over again. And it's... Oh, it is one of the biggest... I don't even know what to... It sucks. It is one of the worst feelings. It is horrible. In JRPG fashion. Alright, so now let's bring Mog back to life, and I have Moogle Charm, so I'm done now. I don't think you can warp out of here, I think that's by design. Yeah, you can't warp out of here, so you have to climb back down. After climbing all the way up, which this is a really long place, after climbing all the way up, fighting all of those dudes, and then fighting a boss who hopefully does not kill you, even though if you don't know that he's going to cast Ultima as a counterattack suicide death, you're totally dead. Without Life 3, you have to do it all over again. And then when you finally do it again, then you climb back down through all of this. Like, it's... Oh, man. It's tremendously hard, but at the same time, if it's the first time you're playing the game, maybe even the second, I mean, it's... You owe it to yourself to do it at least once, because it is kind of fun, too. Like, once you get all your epic gear and crap like that, you definitely want to do it. Because it still is very entertaining, and I love just destroying fools with all these awesome magic spells. But there's a little something else that you kind of want to get first, if you're going to do it, I think. And that is an item called the Economizer. And I have purposely skipped the Economizer, because it just makes you busted as all hell. And so now that we are done with every single place in the game, the only thing left is the Colosseum, to where I want to get a couple of items wager a couple of things, and speaking of that, I actually never changed Shadow's name yet from the last time I went there, so I'll do that now while I'm busy talking and thinking. Um, so there's still that, and then I want to go to that one forest that I mentioned has the hardest enemies in the game. I want to go there and get, I don't really care who I bring in my party because I'm going to end up changing it anyway, um, go there and fight some of those guys, and I want to obtain a couple economizers, if possible, before I proceed with all that stuff. Alright, so where's my rename card? There we go. Secret item! Rename card on Edge. We're gonna call you Shadow, the way it was meant to be. I guess I could call you Clyde, and that would just be funny, but I won't. Alright, so now I'm going to unequip everybody, re-equip everybody, but I'm going to end the, or pause the recording for now and get back because I want to go get some account. Do I want to do that now or next episode? I think I'll do that next episode, actually. Yeah, next episode, I will get economizers and I will do everything I want to in the Coliseum. That'll be part 38. Well, this is, what is this? This is 37, so that'll be 38. Do I want to do Kefka's Tower all in one episode for 39 and then finish it for 40? I think that's what I'm going to do. That's going to be a long freaking episode, though. But I guess I either make that episode long or I make this episode long. That's really all there is to it. I think I'll just do that. Kefka's Tower is going to be one massive episode of awesome. Maybe I can split it into two. I have 41 episodes. No, because if I have 41, then I'm going to want 42, because I like 42. <laughs> oh, I'll have to think about this when I'm re-equipping people. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Alright, everyone, here we are at the forest of really, really hard enemies. And, oops, no, not save. Um, range, everyone's fully equipped. And I'm going to use a tent to make sure everyone's good to go. There's the tents, there's the tents. With Realm in front, and she has a yellowish, orange, more yellowish, I think, tent. How cute. Anyway, so now that we are here, 
I'm going to save state, and the enemy we are looking for is a rare enemy. Oh crap, I forgot about this guy <laughs> for a second. Control! Alright, so we controlled him, that's cool. I want to... Oh, that's why I had float on and the tent just took off float. That's why I left. Anyway, um, so he gives slow and haste, no big deal. I guess just cast slow on yourself. Where's Seven? I want Seven's turn. Alright, so we're gonna bum rush, and then you're gonna fight, and then you're gonna... I don't know what the hell you're gonna do. <clears throat> I guess you can cast some Ices or something. That's what X Magic does from that gem box, is it gives you two casts of magic, which is amazing. But no big deal, Cells will just take care of them, so that's fine. Yeah, you fight that guy, and then you fight a different dinosaur, who's a rare enemy, and then he has a rare chance to drop the item that we're going for. So, hopefully he'll do it. This Where is he? Where is he? There we go. Alright guys, so... Just in case, because it took a while to find this guy, so I think I ended up just uh, editing out part of that. But we'll see. So maybe not. Come on, Realm, use control. This guy is a complete monster. Thank God I controlled him. Okay. So I want to cast Scan, just because I want to take a look at this guy. And just use some X magic to cure everybody. But I don't need it, really. Yeah, just cast two of them, I don't care. Level 77, 46,000 hit points. Weak against ice. So it means I don't want to hit him physically, I want to hit him with magic. And I don't want Realm to do anything either, otherwise he'll turn around. So... We'll have a bum rush let loose. We'll have an ice 3 let loose. And then we'll have a double ice 3 let loose. So this is like the cheap, super easy way to kill him, but if I don't do this, he could potentially kill me, because he can cast Ultima, and then I die. So I don't really want to do that. Um, I missed! What? Okay, I do a Bum Rush. And I think I want... Okay, so he's not dead yet. He only has a rare chance to drop the item that I'm looking for, so I'd rather just save state and then have, you know, have this enemy die multiple times and try and get it that way. 12,000 left. Okay, so screw that. You can go first. And then Cells will finish him off. Okay, so now we're gonna save state. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna have this ready to be charged. Oh, whatever. Ice 3, and then we'll just have to hope that he drops it for me. If he doesn't, reload, kill him, reload, kill him until he drops it. Because it's a rare chance. He's a rare enemy, and it's a rare chance. 10 magic points. Amazing stuff. And I got it! First try! Perfect. That item is godly. It's not necessarily the best way to see it. Since I got it first try, I think I'll just leave in all that stuff and not edit it out. Maybe I'll speed it up. I don't know what I'll do with it. But, I, I got a first try, so I do not care. Um, it's not necessarily the best way to get... Where was the imp helper? If equipped while an imp. Look at that battle power. It's crazy. It's crazy powerful. Um, where is it now? Oh yeah, as I was saying, it's not the best way to get economizers. The best way to do that is to go into um, the Colosseum, and there's a couple enemies you can fight that if you give Go-Go no equipment, or at least no offensive equipment, just defensive gear, and you only give him the command of steal, and equip him with Thief Glove, just in case he attacks, then he steals as well, and you try and steal Economizer from a really weak enemy. Um, there you go. Cuts MP consumed to one. It's completely broken, this item. So in combination, Terra gem box, and instead of gold hairpin, we give her economizer. She can now cast any two spells in the game for a total of two magic points. So if I want to throw double Ultima, two points. So that's why she is going to be my mage for this game. And uh, it's completely unfair. It is completely busted. It's it's just mean. It's just straight up mean. Um, obviously, the more of them you get, the better off you're going to be. But whatever. 
So anyway, there's that. And now I want to get the hell out of here. Which leaves the only thing for me left, aside from Kefka's tower, is the Colosseum. Which I think I'm gonna end up just doing this episode and have this episode be a long one. Not quite sure yet. Um, there might just be some weird cuts, I have no idea. But regardless, I have to kind of think about how I'm gonna do all this crap and exactly what I want to get. So, I'm gonna cut the recording again for now. And I will see you guys next time, whether, either that happens to be this episode or next episode.